So uh, tick, he, uh, we just talked with, with Jack, he talked about the combine and how he had a formal interview with you guys. He just loved the culture and that it was all about ball with you guys. At least that was his impression um, of, of the interview. I'm just curious what you thought of him during that process. He seems like kind of a, a Dan Campbell type of guy, just the way he plays. I'm just curious your impressions coming out of that combine interview with Jack. Yep, uh, well obviously uh, as a positional coach I do tons of these interviews with guys. Um, I do informal, formal, Zoom, all different variations of interviews. And there's a couple guys during this process that kind of stuck with me like, oh wow. And Jack was at the top of that list. Uh, uh, like I'll say when he left out the room, me, Dan, AG looked at each other and was like, damn, that's going to be hard to top right there. <laughs> and because it was just exceptional. Uh, his knowledge of the game speaks for itself. It shows on the tape, but it's the passion that I don't know if, if people are ready for quite say. Like he was literally just crying in tears. I'm still fired up about it. Just uh, fired up for the, opp uh, the opportunity to coach a player of that caliber. Yep. You don't see many six five linebackers that, that move like he moved at the combine and I'm sure also shows up on the film like what is the the ceiling for an athlete like that? I mean the athlete, I think everybody sees that. That's stuff that I don't try to dive too deep in because it speaks for itself. It's exceptional what this player can do with his size. Uh, but for me it's it's really the thing that jumps him above some other guys in my opinion is his passion for the game. The way it drives him, you see it, he speaks it, he lives it. He's not one of these guys that when things are good, he's up. He's up all the time because he loves it. And I think that's what makes him special and what kind of pushed him up, I know, in my mind, above some of the other guys who might have had same talent or in, was kind of in the same bucket of people. And to answer, I know you and uh, the previous uh, guy spoke on, he is a Detroit guy. Like, he is a Dan Campbell guy. He's a culture fit immediately. Um, he, he was a captain. I actually was just joking with him on the phone that Luke Van Ness we had on the top 30. And I thought that he talked more about Jack on his visit than he did about himself. And, you know, that resonated with, with, with us because that's a guy that just went top 15 tonight as well that spoke glowingly about this player as a leader and the things that he brought to their team. Yeah, like I can't speak as far as the the actual positional value in which we pick a player. You know, I leave that stuff to Brad, but but I know this is a player I had pegged at the top of the linebacker uh, category and group. You know, now how that falls on the overall board, like I said, that's up to the front office. But I know that we were very high on this guy, both as uh, the position coach um, and as a total defense. Well, first of all, Again, two guys nobody probably thought about. Just from you, your perspective, how is it seeing just going totally out the box for most of my drafts, bringing in a guy like this? Well, y'all know I'm brutally honest, and I play linebacker, and it's been a knock on this position for a long time as far as the value of it. So from that standpoint, you know I'm excited. As a former linebacker and of that fraternity of guys to see a guy go in it and the position be valued. Uh, but, man, I just can't speak – uh, to what I think this player is going to bring, just not only as a player, but as a person in the locker room, in the linebacker room. Like, I think it's going to be exactly what we need as a, as a, as a, a team and defense. Started out through the offseason program as you, as you get these guys in the field, but is, is Jack a guy that can play all three linebacker spots, in your opinion? Uh, I know um, I cross train them all like Derek Barnes, Malcolm. It's not like and in today's football, it's mostly nickel with two linebackers out there. You have to be able to operate at both spots, change emotion and things like that. So in my opinion, we wouldn't have t uh, taken that player there if we didn't feel that way. Uh, there's definitely some versatility there. How much I don't like to speak on until I see him on this level against this caliber of players. But he's a guy that, could, that we could align in multiple places, yes.